This is a quick movie just showing you how the uh, mean variance calculator works on the Photometrics website. This is a really excellent tool for telling you how your camera has a relationship between the number of grayscales it's got and the number of electrons it's captured. Okay, so it's actually going to allow you to come back to photo electrons. It's a really neat little tool you can use. Um, what it's based on is grabbing bias images and a couple of acquisitions and performing some image math. So what we can do is run through this as, uh, sort of together. So let's have a look at just running through a bias image. So let me just go to image J and uh, let's just open up my, my bias image. So in fact, let's just open all three. Boom and boom. So here is my bias image. So the first thing I have to do is go measure, analyze measure. And my bias background here is 139. 652. 139,652. So I enter into it, oh, popped in there, 139.652. That's quite nice, pretty easy. Right, let's go back and we'll look at the first of my snapped images. And again, we'll go to image J, analyze, measure, and we'll go look to the results. 1456116. So we'll go back to the website. 1456.116 okay and then we need to go and get the next image up which should be the final one here and I just come here again up to image J analyze measure back to my results 1456.065 1456.065 okay the last bit is where I have to do some maths I have to take away one image from the other image and look at the standard deviation. So we're going to do that inside image J. You can use it in any imaging package you want. This is just one that's accessible to everyone. And what we do is we get a process image calculator and we say, well, we want to see the difference between the second image we grabbed and the first image we grabbed. Subtract and float the results. It's always important to float the results. Okay, so that's given me an image and this time I'm going to look at the histogram because I know a histogram gives me the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is 26.205. Let's plug that in, 26.025. Okay, that tells me now that this camera is converting 3.8 electrons for every grayscale on the screen, which is pretty standard for a 12-bit camera. Okay, so a few things we've got to be careful with this. The, the bias image that we take has to have a background to it. It has to have numbers in it, it can't just be zero. So a lot of the cameras out there would try and clamp to zero. If you have that, what you want to do is make sure that in a program, and maybe we'll have a look at, say, Micromanager here, in a program like this, that under the properties, you set in here an offset value. I put in here 140. It doesn't really matter what it is, but you must have an offset. Now, we're pretty much good, because now we know our electrons per gain, we can actually, or electrons per gray, we can actually use that in our signal-to-noise calculator, but we'll do that in a separate movie. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks.